Okay, so I have been around for a bit, like, maybe... Okay, holy shit, that's a lot longer than I thought, but, you know, that I have I have good reasons, I promise, you know, like... D D Dark Souls, but... There was also the time when I was like, hey, I'm gonna come back, and then I... It, instead, my mic stand broke, so... Yeah. I got a new one, though. It's got, like, springs and shit, so... See that sound? That was... That was the springs. So yeah. Here's a story about a party. Wait, wait. How long have I been gone? Okay. So I have this friend, right? And he's... he's, he's I mentioned him in a previous video. He was the... The fuck did I give him the name of? I don't know. His name is Yancey now, okay? Um, so Yancey turned 18. You know, like any other 18-year-old person. Then they go to a bar and they're like, Hey, let's have a party, right? So Yancey decides, I'm gonna rent this hall, you know, I'm gonna invite some of my friends, you know, invites me, he says I can bring my girlfriend along, I bring her along, uh, a bunch of people there I know, a bunch of people I don't know, I walk in, it's pretty, pretty decent, I guess, I mean, like, I'm not really a party person, I haven't really done a lot of them, right? So, as I'm here, I'm just trying to, like, you know, get into the whole swing of things, and, well, after a little bit of just kind of like, you know, mingling and stuff, having a little bit of fun, dancing, all that kind of stuff, making sure everyone around is like, comfortable too, because like, I, since I'm his best friend, I feel like it was, I was, it was my responsibility to almost be like a secondary host. So for some people, I was kind of like, hey, you guys doing okay? You guys need anything? You want any drinks or something? I don't know. I just, it felt like something I had to do, right? Obviously, I didn't because it's not my fucking party. But, either way, he's already running himself ragged, he's running around making sure everyone's okay. Well, anyways, so, eventually his girlfriend shows up, right? She's fresh off of doing some dancing stuff. She's a dancer, right? And she's this really, really small little thing, right? Like, she's tiny. And she really wants to drink. That's like, she came to drink, she wants to get drunk. So my friend's you know, probably against better judgment. It's giving her all sorts of things that probably just get her hammered beyond belief, right? Like, it's insane. And then, you know, in combination with her small stature and the fact that she hadn't eaten, holy crap. So, <laughs> she's just kind of sitting down and we're like, are you sure you're okay? And she's like, no, nah, I'm, I'm completely fine. But the moment this little girl, this tiny little woman, stands up holy shit does she just like she um she just falls over practically she is completely gone she lost every sense of identity the moment she stood up so me and my girlfriend are stuck there while my friends trying to take care of like what i don't know how many people were there like 60 80 i don't know trying to take care of that many people in a party and we're trying to take care of her as she's falling over, slurring words, spinning up a little bit. Of, ugh, God damn it! And we couldn't feed her easily because she has like allergies to, like I don't know, she can't process regular food right or something. So we had to get fruit, and she we had to get a lot of water. And God damn, man, this girl was like dying. So after about an hour of taking care of her, I'm like, okay, you know, this is this is fine. Eventually, I'll be able to enjoy this party life that everyone always talks about says it's so amazing, right? And I was like, okay, let's, you know, it's, it's, it's just a short wait. But finally, finally, she starts to sober up enough where she can actually just be functional, an actual member of society, not, um, not whatever she just was. So that happens. And well, I'm just in there with my girlfriend. I'm like, okay, well now I'll get to have some fun with her. We get to, you know, get to dance. We can I don't know, drink if we feel like it, maybe, I don't know, whatever. And then, I just... Fucking hell. So, I turn around. I, t I shit you not, I turned around. And the first fucking thing I see is my girlfriend. Hammered out of her mind. I don't know what happened, I was busy taking care of the, the other one. And suddenly, she is completely out of it. She's gone. And I'm just sitting there like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> okay, so basically, she's completely out of her mind. And like, 
the first thing that happens when I try to speak to her, she just looks at me and she just goes, Whoa! Like, come on. Like, what the fuck? Who does that? And then, it, like, it gets worse because, like, I try every- like, at first I try to calm her down because we're actually supposed to be leaving soon. And, uh, I was hoping at least at some point to have some fun, but she, like, I realized I was gonna have to take care of her too. So, when I'm talking to her, holy shit, she's more out of it than my friend's girlfriend was. Like, I'm like, hey, listen, we, I, you need you need to just calm down, maybe drink some water, and she's like, I don't feel, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Who says that? What the fuck does that even mean? And then, like, ah. Uh, her friends come and they make it worse because they're like, Oh no, you can have this to drink. Are you Stop that. Stop it. And people start trying to offer her more and more and I'm like, Okay, she's barely functioning as it stands. They're like, ah. And then at the end, you know, my, my dad comes to pick us up because, you know, to make sure everyone got home safety, safely and he stops by and she's like, oh, I don't want to appear so drunk to your dad. I'm going to hide it. Like, what the fuck do you mean hide it? You can't even speak properly. How are you gonna hide it? So, she walks into the car, and the first thing she says is, Thank you for picking me up. You're just the best. You're awesome. Thank you. Oh my, you're so good. And I just sit there, just, just thinking for a moment. Like, how, how is this hiding? How is any bit of this hiding? So I take her home, I go back to the car, I talk to my dad, and he's just like, How much did you let her drink? <laughs> and basically, I've learned that if I ever go to a party with her, I have to watch her. Yep, that's that's, that's basically all I learned from parties. Just a shit ton of uh, taking care of drunk people, and doing nothing fun. So basically, I'm ready for a life of teaching. Alright. Well, thank you guys for listening to this random stupid story that I told for no reason other than the fact that I'm bored and I realized I've been wait gone from the channel like way too long. So hey, fuck it. Here you go. Bye-bye, children.